If I could choose one simple pasta recipe that you should absolutely try and put as part of your everyday repertoire, it is spaghetti all'arbiata. I think I've pronounced it right, I hope I've done it justice, but we are gonna make this and show you just how easy it is to make a spicy, luscious tomato sauce. It is gonna be absolutely phenomenal. And best of all, the ingredients in front of me are all the ingredients you'll need. Some spaghetti, some tomato puree, some tomatoes, a little bit of chili pepper, I've got some extra virgin olive oil, I've got some pecorino, and I've got some garlic. You need no more. And it starts off by cooking up our spaghetti. So get some spaghetti in there and get mixing. I'm just gonna mix through so that it gets nicely coated in the water. This is some heavily salted water. And while it is cooking off, we are gonna crack on with the sauce. So get your pan on a slow and low heat. I have two large garlic cloves, which I'm just gonna finely slice with a sharp knife. And I want thin little slivers of garlic here just for that taste and that fragrance and flavor. And if you're not a garlic fan, but you still want to develop the flavors in your sauces, a nice little tip is to take a whole garlic clove, unpeeled, and stick it straight in the oil, just so you get the taste, but you don't get the texture of the garlic. So it's a little subtle hit of it. So this goes into a pan. Alongside some extra virgin olive oil, I've got a few tablespoons going in here. You know, when you're frying it off like this and you're using it with simple ingredients just like these, I tend to use extra virgin olive oil rather than normal olive oil because it's a really good, strong flavor from it. Garlic goes in as this comes up to temperature. We're gonna slowly but surely infuse that oil, bubble and sizzle, and get it to a point where the garlic is just about turning light and golden brown. And while that cooks, I'm going to blitz up my tomatoes for this recipe. To my tin of whole plum tomatoes, I am going to add about a tablespoon or so of tomato puree. Now, there's a reason for this. I want that intense tomato-y flavor, and sometimes these tin tomatoes, they need a little bit of extra help. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon or so of tomato puree, or tomato paste if you're in the US. This now all goes into a food processor, and I'm gonna blitz this up so I get a super smooth and silky tomato sauce to this recipe. So lid on, and let's get blitzing. Okay, oh, a lot of noise, and you don't have to do this step particularly if you like chunky tomato sauces, but this results in the silkiest alarbiata you will ever come across. So, I have that ready to go. My garlic is just turning that little touch golden, and this is the point where you need to get it to, and you don't want to go further than this. So, to this, we're gonna add a generous pinch of red chili flakes in here. I like my arrabbiata spicy. So get it in there and hit it with that spice. And now that we have that oil flavored with the spice, flavored with the garlic, it's time to get in there with this tomato puree and that canned plum tomato. There's the action. We got some sizzle, we got some serious flavor coming together. So you're combining that oil in alongside the tomato. This can only be a good thing and it's gonna cook quite quickly. It only takes about eight to 10 minutes just for those flavors to thicken down, intensify, and soon it will be ready for that cooked pasta. Pasta sauce has had its time. You can see it's bubbling away, and I'm just gonna check the seasoning just to make sure we're in business. It's good, but it needs a touch of salt. And funny enough, you know, I know this sounds like a really obvious thing to say, but in cooking, that little bit of salt can mean all the difference between a good tasting dish and a bad tasting dish. So make sure you check your seasoning as you go. This is good to go at this point. I'm gonna turn off the heat on my pasta, which is cooked. And now it's just a case of getting this all involved in the one pan. So grab up that pasta, transfer it straight into that hot sauce. A lot of people wonder what that point of difference is from really good pasta dishes. And often enough, it comes down to well-seasoned pasta, but also the use of a little bit of that starchy pasta water. And that's why in this case, I'm not draining the pasta, I'm taking it from one pot to the next, taking in a little bit of that starchy water alongside. It will be the difference. Give it all a good toss. You wanna get that tomato sauce involved. Look at that, only a few minutes and you have pasta beauty all in one pan. Really gorgeous. Oh yeah, oh baby, oh yes. 
That is looking fantastic. Right, let's serve this up. This looks really, really wonderful now. And all you gotta do is stick this straight into your plate. I mean, you need no more. And the brilliant thing about this is just how few ingredients it takes to create beautiful pasta perfection. Arrabbiata, done in minutes, in the time it takes to cook the pasta, and then a last little touch of pecorino just over the top. Give it a swirl on your fork. Get it coated. Have a little moment. Feel a little bit romantic. One of the first pasta sauces I ever learned to make, and one that I come back to time and time again. If you have never made any pasta recipes before, this is the one to start with. It's the sort of basis of some great Italian cookery, and it is so, so delicious. Best of all, you can make it in minutes, and you probably already have the ingredients in your store cupboard, so go try this recipe. I will leave a link in the box below, which will bring you to my website, where all the details are there. Of course, let me know what you think of this fantastically simple little recipe, and what is the first thing you've ever cooked? I'd love to know if it was a pasta dish like this. Click that like button, share this with a friend who loves pasta, and of course, subscribe to this channel for lots more delicious recipes just like this one. Until then, my friends, see you soon. Pasta alla arrabbiata. Pasta alla arrabbiata. Pasta alla arrabbiata. Pasta alla... <laughs>